Hello, hello. Oh my gosh. So let me get, tell you all, I had, I received my Hobonichi delivery the first week of September. I have been unable to record anything because, well, my job and other things in my life. And I have been <laughs> keeping this little box next to my desk and longing to do this unboxing. Now, the reason this looks like this and it looks like um, all faded is because the UP, whatever the FedEx UPS thing sticker was right on the top and I'm so bummed. The only way that I could remove the sticker thing that was on top of this was by pulling it and it ripped off the beautifulness of the life book box, which I think is really pretty. Okay, so are you guys so excited? By the way, I'm recording this at the end of November almost. Okay. I can't even remember when I bought, <laughs> except for my actual Hobonichi books. And the reason that I'm just, I decided to do this unboxing right now too is because I have to start. I have to start because I believe I can start using my Hobonichi in December. And if I don't open this box and do an unboxing right now, then um, I'm going to miss out and I don't want to do that. Okay, so here we go. Are we, are we all ready? I wish you could see me. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. It's been so long. I seriously cannot remember. Cannot remember what's in here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my. I'm going to have to read this and sort of take a nice deep, deep breath in and just, oh. And just take it in. A calendar is filled with numbers, days that have passed and days still to come. It's funny. Of all of them, the only one we are living is today. The only day we can reach out and touch is today. Safety matches fireside chat. Ah, I love, I love all of the meditative aspects of this whole thing. Okay, oh my God. Oh, how am I going to keep this box open? Let's see. All right. So, oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going to just remove these quickly and then go one by one so that I can get the box out because it's, it's a lot. Okay. Let's move that out of the way. And let us see. Okay. I just chucked that. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, let's see the things that I that don't need much opening. I forgot that I bought this. It's a little tiny A6 notebook. Yamazura by Tomi Taro Makino. It's, this is a little A6 notebook. By the way, this was my favorite design this year, if you cannot tell. This is gorgeous. What a lovely little notebook. And it's got the little grid, the little square grid, Tomoe River, pages. Oh my gosh, I love this. I forgot that I got this. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh. Y'all, and it's like shiny. I don't know if you can see. See, it's, yeah, it is. It's shiny and hard. What a beautifully made 
notebook. This is stunning. And it's so cute and small. So cute and small. I love it. I love it. Okay. And these are the, for those of you who don't know about Hobonichi, oh my gosh, listen, I'm not going to talk about Hobonichi here because I am by no means a Hobonichi knower of all the things. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to link to some of my favorite Hobonichi videos in this video in the description so that you can learn all about it, but I'm not going to I'm not going to go into it because I'm by no means an expert. I'm I'm just obsessed. I've been using Hobonichi products since 2018, I believe. 2018? I have to look at my notebooks. And um anyway, so I've got those receipts, but so every time that you order a Hobonichi product, you get this little um pen. And every year it changes colors. And this year, it is this sort of brown and tealish, darkish, grayish thing with yellow writing on it. Um, and it usually has the same three colors in it. They are very good writers, by the way. I, I like them a lot, black and blue and red. And I believe this was last year's. This was the last year one. I use it all the time. I usually keep these on my desk. Yeah, this was the 2023 colors. And this is 2024 colors. Um, and I usually keep these on my desk because they are, again, like I said, super easy writers. I can just grab it real quick and then write with them. Um, and so whenever you do buy the notebooks, the actual journals, the techos, they come with this. Okay, so let's go. Eek, this is so pretty. These are pencil boards that I got because I can use these pencil boards with anything and everything. And this year, I got something else for my, for one of my, um, journaling my journaling in 2024 i got an a6 from sterling ink which i'll probably do a video about that at a different time but this is a little pencil board and so these little pencil boards are great to put into um you know your journal when you are working on them and you can refer back to today which is so beautiful I love these designs I'm a massive fan of anything that's yellow and I love sunflower not sunflowers dandelions dandelions it's so beautiful they're my one of my favorite in so many different ways um, by far, even more than um, just looking at them. There's so much magic to dandelions. They are an am amazing, well, what's known as a weed here, um, but I actually eat dandelions and put the dandelion leaves inside of my smoothies. They have so um, such amazing nutrients to them. You can actually, they, these are edible weeds. And they are so full of incredible um, nutrients within them. Um, I'm not going to talk about through all of that, but that's really, I love, I love, love, love that. So beautiful. And we have a pencil board. This is the A6 size. By the way, this is the, sorry, this is the A6 size. This is the A5 pencil board. This is so beautiful. I also am hugely... All of these are exactly what I wanted for the pencil boards because, wow, this is beautiful. Let me put it a little closer. Look at that. Are these lilies? Is that what this is? Or I'm sure there's a name. Sorry, guys. I don't actually know the name of this specific flower, but it is gorgeous. And I love the this color back here and you get a little ruler a little measurement on the side 
what color oh my gosh this is yellow so pretty look at that i love 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 pencil board these are so gorgeous okay and these are my ted shows so y'all last year i got the english um hobonichi cousin the english version and i found myself that i had a really hard time continuing to use my cousin because it was getting so chunky and big and it was getting harder to write in it by the time i hit september and so i went back to the cousin of vec which is what these are and the only reason i didn't get an I mean didn't get an Avec last year is because I wanted to test out the English version. I really did appreciate oh my gosh. I did appreciate um what I got uh uh the English stuff, but I wasn't reading the quotes as much as I could. Oh my gosh, look at this. What a cute. Oh I love it. This is so cute. Let's fly. Thanks for the lift. This is all just adorbs. I can't with the cuteness. And then it's got all these other things here. Uh, uh, <laughs> Seriously, the cuteness factor is just too much. This is probably my favorite one of these that has come. Um, in, a, in this package. Okay, here we go. So these are the Hobonichi Techo. And so Techo essentially means journal. Um, and the way, the reason that I like it split into two, so the a VEC means that it's split into two, January through June, and then July through December. And then this just allows the year to be split in half and also gives me that extra dopamine hit of like opening up a new notebook at then um, July and I can actually add all of the things that I want to it so just I'm sure that there's many of you who do know exactly what I'm opening up here but for those of you who don't know much about how the what the layout is for the Hobonichi notebooks you can find obviously here you can see all of the um, yearlies from 23 to 25 to 24 and this is just obviously the calendar section we have this section here that is split into quarters and you can only you only see the six months that are in this book and it has this lovely little all of your days are on the side here you can use it for whatever the heck you would like to use it for it also has all the way to december which is really great because you can still forward plan even if it's a half a year starting in december so i get to use it oh my gosh y'all i can st i can actually begin is it i think i can start getting in this book on monday oh my god i'm gonna freak out um so it's got all the months in there and then we got the weekly section the weekly section is a vertical week this is my favorite layout for weeklies uh, because I somehow my brain really adjusts to having the vertical. Uh, we'll talk about in a further video at some point about why I'm moving into a different type of a layout um, using some of the plotter system stuff. But and these are and this is basically the rest of the notebook is one day per page, one page per day, and. Um, that's it. It's fairly simple. It's very expansive. There is a little bit of a uh, the ability for you to like write your schedule if you want to do it that way here and then write thoughts on the other parts of it. But um, I just like it because it's so open ended and I love the papers and it's actually very thin. It does have these um, extra pages in the back if you want to use like blank pages and then if we go all the way to the back, we have addresses. There is, um, I'm not sure exactly what all of this stuff is here. I have to figure that out. 
And um, these are my 100, like you're supposed to like fill out 100 lovely things that you like in here. And then I'm actually not, and these are like quarter, I think it's, it's a question and answer. I'm not even sure what it says here, but it's whatever you can, if you can't read it and you look at these little things and you're like, oh my God, I can put whatever the heck I want in there. Yes, you can. Um, some of your favorite things and a timetable. So all in all, it is that simple what the Hobonichi is. Again, split into two books. Love, love, love. I cannot wait to get into these. And now I'm going to open this little thing. I have a feeling I know, I know what this is. It's been so long since I watched everybody unbox their Hobonichi that now I'm going to see what's going on here. It's the little bag. We everybody this is like a little free gift. I don't even know what this is. Is this like a egg? <laughs> it's a tiny little bag. And you put things in it. Oh my gosh, it's a tiny little tote bag. It stands up and it's a little egg, I think, or something. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but Alas, this is what we have here. And it's cute. It's just, again, stand it up and you can stick stuff in it. You can put your little notebooks or whatever. I wonder if it fits the A6 little notebook in there. Does it? I'm curious. Oh my gosh, look, it does. It fits just exactly a little A A6 notebook. And that's adorbs. That's adorable. I love it. Okay, so these are, this is my little Hobonichi for everybody to see. The, and then these, of course, go inside of here. And you have the ability to have that um, pencil board in it. And it looks so nice sticking out the side. And I'll put the A6 one in here. and. That's beautiful as a little pencil board. It actually is a little bit bigger, so it kind of sticks out a tiny little bit. Um, I actually got that pencil board for my for my Sterling Ink, which is this one. I'll do a video on this one for another one. This is the one that I'm going to be using. It's a little A6, but I'm going to see what it looks like because I bought it specifically for this oh, it fits perfect look at that little pencil board love it love it love it yes yes it is a perfect fit for that oh, i am so excited i cannot wait to start getting into my notebooks yay all the things i'm so excited so we're gonna start this basically like in a few days like just a few days yes thank you for hanging out with me thanks for like checking this out and um oh my gosh how many of you waited this long to open up your hobonichi haul i'm curious if there's any other of you who were nutty about uh, not opening the Hobonichi until you did an unboxing because holy crap, I'm such a dork. I will chat with you um, later, maybe showing you um, some of my other, um, what I'm gonna be doing for 2024 as it pertains to all of my journals and all of my stationary loves. Bye.